It's the magic of math here, and today we're dividing rational numbers in fraction form. We're going to use our rule where we are going to keep our first fraction the same as an improper fraction. We're going to change divide to multiply, and we're going to multiply by that reciprocal, which means we are flipping the numerator and denominator and keeping that sign. Here is our objective. We are going to divide rational numbers in fraction form. And the question that we are thinking about today throughout the lesson, how are dividing rational numbers in fraction form and dividing integers similar? So dividing positive numbers, the whole numbers and their opposites, and dividing positive and negative fractions. Here are six easy steps to dividing any rational number in fraction form. Let's practice these and make them habit. Step one. We're going to first determine the sign of the quotient. Very important that we do that first and have it in our minds and record it. We're going to use the same signs rule. The quotient of two values with the same sign will always be positive. So if both values are positive, positive quotient. If both values are negative, positive quotient. Then if they have different signs, the quotient of those two values with different signs will always be negative. So if one's positive and one's negative, then we know our quotient is negative. Step two, we are going to, if necessary, write any mixed numbers as improper fractions. Step three, we're going to follow this three-step process to rewrite division as multiplication. We're going to keep the first number the same. We're going to change division sign to multiplication. And we're going to change the second number to its reciprocal flipping the numerator and denominator, keeping the sign. Step four, we're going to multiply the numerators. Step five, we're going to multiply the denominators. And step six, we are going to, if necessary, simplify the fraction. So here we go. Let's go practice these six steps. To do this, we're going to write our six steps in this graphic organizer and use this as our procedural checklist. So. Let's go ahead and practice. We're going to divide 3 fourths divided by 2 fifths. So let's go ahead to our graphic organizer or checklist and we're going to write our problem to begin. Now, step one, we want to determine the sign of the quotient and record that positive or negative of our quotient down in the step six box. So we have same signs and different signs. We look here, both the first and the second numbers, the division they're being divided by is positive. So same signs is what we're going to use here. Same signs, the quotient will have the same sign and be positive. And we get to write that in our step six box. Same signs, positive quotient. Moving on to step two. If necessary, write mixed numbers as improper fractions. That's not necessary here. They're both proper. There are no mixed numbers. Step three we're going to rewrite division as multiplication. So we're going to keep the first number the same. So here's our first value. We're going to write that as 3 fourths, keeping it the same. Step two in this process is to change the division sign to multiplication. So we have our division sign here. That's going to become multiply. And our third part is to change the second number to its reciprocal. So we're going to come over to our value and we are going to flip it. We're going to swap places for the numerator and denominator. So two fifths becomes five halves. That's the reciprocal. Noting that when we multiply our reciprocals, we get one. Two fifths times five halves is one. All right, step four. Now we're ready to multiply. We're going to start by multiplying our numerators. Our numerators are three multiplied by five, which is 15. Step five, we're going to multiply our denominators. Our denominators are 4 and 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Now we're looking at step 6. If it's necessary, we're going to simplify our fraction. Well, 8 only has factors of 2. There are no factors of 2 in 15. So this is in simplest form. We know that our quotient is positive, but we know we could write this as a mixed number. 8 goes into 15 once with 7 left over. So 15 eighths or one and seven eighths. All right, now it's your turn. I would like you to find the quotient of two and one third divided by negative three fourths. 
I think you're ready. Go ahead and pause, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Let me show you your graphic organizer here if you want to use this. Go ahead and pause your screen now and begin with step one. Good luck. Welcome back. So step one, we're going to determine the sign of the quotient and record whether it's positive or negative in the step six box. So I look and I see that I have a positive and a negative. So those are different signs and we know that the quotient will always be negative and we're going to record that negative sign in that step six box. So we cannot forget. If you're doing this on a computer and you're taking a test on a computer, go ahead and put your negative sign in the box right away and then you can't forget it. All right, step two. If necessary, write mixed numbers as improper fractions and it's necessary. Here's our mixed number. So three times two is six plus one is seven becomes seven thirds. And let's bring down our divide negative three fourths because this is not a mixed number. Moving on to step three, we're gonna rewrite division as multiplication. So step part, first part of that, step one, keep the first number the same. So we're gonna take seven thirds and we're gonna bring it down and write it the same. Then we're gonna change the division sign to multiplication. So instead of divide, we're gonna multiply. And then the third thing we're gonna do is change the second number to its reciprocal. So here is our second value. We are going to flip the numerator and denominator, keeping that negative sign with the numerator. So negative four thirds. Step four, we're gonna multiply the numerators. So here are our numerators. We're gonna do seven times negative four, which is negative 28. Step five, we're gonna multiply the denominators which is three times three, which is nine. Step six, if necessary, we need to simplify. Well, nine has factors of three only. Negative 28 is not divisible by three. So this is in simplest form, or we can write it as a mixed number. Nine goes into 28 three times with one left over. Remember, we had our note here. I disappeared right now because we didn't need it there because we knew it was negative. All right, here's another one for you. Can you find the quotient of negative five six divided by one half? So let's go to our graphic organizer, write our problem, go ahead and pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Step one, we're gonna determine the sign of the quotient and record our positive or negative in our step six box. So we have a negative divided by a positive, different signs. So let's go to our different signs rule and now we know the quotient with different signs is gonna be negative, writing our negative sign in our box. Step two, if necessary, write mixed numbers as improper fractions. Neither value is a mixed number, so we're going on to step three. We're gonna rewrite division as multiplication, where we begin by keeping the first number the same. So we have negative five, six. We're gonna take that negative sign and keep it with the numerator, negative five, six. Now we need to change our division sign to multiplication. Divide is gonna become multiply. And then the third part is we are going to change the second number to its reciprocal. One half, flipping our numerator and denominator, is two over one, noting that one half times two is positive one. Step four, we're gonna multiply the numerators. Our numerators, are negative five times two, which is negative 10. Step five, we're gonna multiply the denominators. Six times one is six. And now step six, if necessary, we're gonna simplify the fraction. So that is necessary. Both my numerator and denominator are even, so they're divisible by two. What I do to the numerator, I must do the same to the denominator. Negative 10 divided by two is negative five, and six divided by two is three. Noting it's negative, we got it. So negative five thirds, or you could write it as a mixed number. Three goes into five once with two left over, negative one and two thirds. Here's your last practice problem for today's video. I'm gonna ask you to divide negative one and one half, divide by negative three fifths. Go ahead and pause and see how you do with your six steps. Good luck. Welcome back. Let's go to our graphic organizer where we write our problem. Step one, 
we're going to determine the sign of the quotient and record our answer. So we have same signs or different signs. Negative, divide by negative, those are the same signs. So we know our quotient is going to be positive, and we're going to record that positive down here so we can't forget. Step two, if necessary, write mixed numbers as improper fractions. It's necessary, our first value is a mixed number. Two times one is two, plus one is three, so negative three over two. And keep our second value the same because it's not a mixed number. Moving on to step three, we're gonna rewrite this division as multiplication. First part, we're gonna keep that first number the same. Negative three halves just comes down negative three halves. We're gonna change the division sign to multiplication so that divide becomes multiply. And part three, we're gonna change the second number to its reciprocal. So negative three fifths, we're gonna flip the numerator and denominator, keeping the sign in the numerator. So negative five thirds. So the, um, the sign, if it's negative, stays here. If this is negative, the reciprocal must be negative. Negative three fifths multiplied by negative five thirds is positive one. Step four, now we're gonna multiply the numerators. Here are our numerators, negative three multiplied by negative five is positive 15. Now we're gonna move on and multiply our denominators. Two times three is six. And step six, if necessary, we wanna simplify that fraction. Well, it's necessary because both 15 and six are divisible by three. So what I do to the numerator, I must do to the denominator, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. Or we can write this as a mixed number. Or, and here's another trick too. Because we had a factor of 3 visible, we could have done 3 divided by 3 is 1, and see we have our 5 and our 2. So you could simplify before or after. And now let's write it as a mixed number. 2 goes into 5 twice with 1 left over. So positive five halves or positive two and one half. And there you have it. That is how we multiply rational numbers in fraction form. We are gonna keep the first value, change division to multiplication, and multiply by the reciprocal, flipping the numerator and denominator, keeping the sign with the numerator. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.